This is Neyran Aldan. I'm a video journalist based in Turkey. So basically, I'm a Turkish journalist. I'm in Adana province now. Uh, Adana is one of the 10 provinces hit by the earthquakes in southeastern Turkey. Yesterday morning, when I get up, when I learned about the earthquake, I started to make some plans about coming to southeastern Turkey to cover the earthquake. My plan was, in the beginning, uh, was to go to Maraş, the epic center of the earthquake. Uh, so I departed Istanbul around in the afternoon, in early afternoon, but uh, I couldn't make it because of the heavy snow on the road. Some of the roads were closed by the, by the snow. Some of the roads were dis distracted by the earthquake. So I had to make a choice. Then I decided to come to Adana first and cover the situation in Adana. My trip physically, it was a hard one uh, because I didn't sleep last night, like many other people in Turkey, actually. Uh, and uh, due to the heavy snow, we had to change our uh, plans couple of times due to the road closures because of the earthquake we had to change our plans but it was very stressful mentally because uh, even though as a journalist I covered several earthquakes in Turkey before uh, this one is different this one is very important one this one is very big one there are many fatalities casualties and it's 10 different cities affected were affected at the same time uh, by one earthquake by two two big earthquakes actually uh, I'm resting in my car I'm not going to any hotels I didn't book any hotels actually because it's not safe to go to the buildings here uh, because of any possible damages nobody's going to the buildings nobody's going to their home uh, and I was I was a little bit stressful uh, by the scenes, I was a little bit stressed by possible scenes that I might see by arriving at scene, the tragedy happening in the cities. Um, that's why, I mean, apart from the physically hard trip, it was a, it was a real, it was really stressful for me. In the next days, I will travel in the region in the earthquake affected areas, and uh, I will cover the situation.